Hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, that too. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I think it might be time to go investigate the end. Well, hello everyone. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of Vanilla, the last one for the year. And and with the year being almost done, I think it's time to go prepare ourselves for a new year and a new dimension. Because my back here is looking a little bit uh, flat. <laughs> I want some wings and I want some shulker boxes. It doesn't mean that I'm going to just be flying everywhere and changing how I play completely. I think I'll try and do some episodes without the elytra on. But boy, is it going to make things easier when it comes to gathering resources, collecting them, building, and even starting on our megabase up there. Which was one of the things that we have on our to-do list. Not only that, but it does mean that uh, when building things like the library and the blacksmith, I'm going to be able to launch myself up into the air and actually get on top of things a lot easier. It's going to speed up my building and allow me to do a lot more fun things. So, I believe... If my memory is correct, I haven't actually gone back and checked the footage, but I believe that that direction was where our Eye of Ender went. But if I'm going to get myself set up to go into the end, I'm going to need a little bit more than an Eye of Ender. So, we've got ourselves a decent pickaxe, we kind of have a decent sword, got a good shovel, and got a good axe. And stuff like that is fully enchanted, ready to go. Same with that one. But I don't quite have these two sorted yet. So, a little bit of trading with these guys. Let's just grab some of this. We'll trade with our already zombified and cured villagers. Gather ourselves a few extra levels. And then we'll go back to our enchantment encampment. And do a little bit of enchanting. See whether we can get lucky. Because I don't quite have the, uh, the librarian set up yet. <laughs> okay. Okay, 39 levels, that'll allow me to enchant four times. Let's see how we go. All right, first and foremost, let's have a look what we can get. Respiration three. Yes, thank you. In fact, ooh, combining those two would get me protection four, and I just need aqua affinity. Hmm, that one is already pretty good though. Okay, let's, uh, whoa. That's hard. We don't quite have ourselves set up with a good supply of XP just yet. Not something that is quickly accessible, you know? But... Hmm, I don't want thorns either. Let's just do a single one there. And we will reset everything. Let's try that again. Unbreaking, protection three, knockback. Damn. Ah. Mm -hmm -hmm. Respiration three again, give me good. Damn. <laughs> hmm. Maybe I need to do some grinding for levels. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Few more levels later. Let's see how we go. I've got 45. I also made myself a bow that we might try and see if we can get infinity on. But let's just have a look at what we have here. I would really love a looting three. We'll start off with the chest plate. Again, I don't really want the thorns. Uh, respiration three is not bad. Go for that one. Unbreaking and respiration three. Nope. And nope. Okay, it's fine. What we're going to do is actually remove the protection four from that one and go for an aqua affinity. Um, protection. Aqua affinity. There we go. Wonderful. It only has protection three, but... It's a good start. We can always probably find ourselves a protection for out in the outer end islands at one of the cities. So I'm pretty happy with that. Let's see. We have a few levels left. Ooh, a power four and a knockback. Let's go for the power. Oof, nothing crazy. There we go. A protection four, straight protection four with unbreaking. That means that I can put mending on that. Wonderful. And I don't have enough level to go for anything else. So I might do a little more grinding and try and get myself a looting sword. But all in all, that's pretty decent. I can combine those like this. And then, yeah. Cool. Very nice. 
I can probably actually bring some of this back with me too. Beautiful. Well, I'll be back once I have myself a little bit more levels and hopefully a better enchantment on this sword. Maybe even on our bow. But that is pretty good. In fact, I just realized I can combine those two. 11, 29. There we go. That will get us to protection four. And I've just got to chuck mending on both of those. Lovely. Protection four all around. Aqua affinity, respiration, beautiful. <laughs> all right. Once I've got myself some looting, we can go find ourselves a few endermen and see whether we can get some enderpearls. Well, that only took me about two and a half hours, but here we are. I have, <laughs> look at this, that is a straight roll, and I'm going to combine it with this one. I did not manage to get looting three at any point, but with that, I have a wonderful sword. Now, I have two levels left. How much is it going to cost to put mending on here? Five. Totally doable. I could just trade with uh, with this guy. Yeah! Oh. Finally. <laughs> I'll make myself a new one of these before I forget. And I also managed to get myself a really nice bow. So now I have a perfect sword, except it doesn't have sharpness five. Hmm. We may have to, uh, yeah, we may have to do something about that. It's fine. It's fine for now. I might not be able to afford it, but we'll see. It's fine. What have you got? <laughs> but on top of that, I also have a very nice bow. We got a nice pickaxe. Good armor. All I need to do is add mending to both of those, which is easy enough. In fact, let's just purchase a couple of lanterns. That's one, and this one's going to cost five. No worries. I'll just buy a few more carrots. Beautiful. And <laughs> a little bit of proof of how much trading I've been doing. Yeah, we're doing all right on the emerald department. So I've used up all of the melons and pumpkins that I had made in trading. I've done a bunch of farming to gather the materials that I needed or the items to trade for that. I've been down at my farm down below, killing a bunch of skeletons, but it was worth it. Absolutely worth it. We are now in a far better space for going to the end. Now, I am going to have to organize myself an ender chest and a couple of other things before we get started. I also want enough uh, obsidian to make ourselves another portal when we get to the end. Or to the, uh, the stronghold, I should say. So I think I'm going to head down here. There should probably... Wait, I don't have any water on me. Yeah. There should probably be some lava down there, I would say. Do my funny run. <laughs> And we'll just gather ourselves enough for an ender chest. Just one, because we'll find a heap of them out in the outer end when we head out there. And also enough. So, hmm. Let me see if I can hear any. Wait, I think I remember running into some when I went back this way. Maybe? There was definitely lava somewhere. Oh, up there. Okay, okay. I hear you. I'll be a little bit careful here. Oh. Oh. I have not experienced this yet. Oh no. Oh, I'm so... I'm terrified. I have literally never experienced this myself. I've barely even watched anyone experience this. But... Those things... Hmm... Ha ha ha. Ha ha. I'm a little nervous. Can I? What are these? No, I'm going to mine the other one of these too, so it doesn't... Okay. Okay. What is that? A skulk catalyst. Okay. Oh boy. You see, somehow I've actually managed to avoid spoilers on most of the ancient city stuff. I just haven't tuned in and watched it. I mean, I've seen what they look like and I have seen the warden, but I haven't <laughs> actually experienced this myself. It maybe looks like this was just a small little area of it, so we may be safe. 
Um, I don't have any torches on me either. So we're just going to grab the obsidian that we need <laughs> and try and forget about the fact that uh, I'm terrified. Okay. Whew. At least there wasn't like an ancient city directly underneath where we made our base. Can you imagine? Well, knock on wood. I shouldn't say that too soon without actually knowing. So, let's gather ourselves some of this obsidian, and then we'll head into the nether, see if we can get ourselves some ender pearls, and we should be good to go. Okay, I am going to uh, put these away in here, and I've got myself half a stack. So, now I want to go get myself a bunch more of these sorted. So I should have in my potions, or would it be in hostile mob drops? Ah, it would be down over here where I have been curing villages. Or am going to be curing villages. In fact, oh, this is probably... <laughs> this has been running the whole time. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's, uh, let's grab seven of those. And, oh, oh dear. Let's just disable this. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, I've probably got so many more villages than I'm ever going to need in there. They are... Yeah. In fact, let's just quickly... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're probably fine on villages. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. But we've got ourselves some blaze rods, which will turn into blaze powder. And let's go over to what I believe is a fairly close uh, warped forest. Oh, goodness. I did have a few little fights with some ghasts around this area. Now, I believe over that way, somewhere in the void over there, in the fog, is a warped forest. And that's probably going to be our best bet at finding Enderman. Yes. Beautiful. So, we'll just head across there test our luck and try and get ourselves a few pearls and I do have looting three on this now so we might try that too hello my friends come here nope nope <laughs> but the bow works nicely nope ah no luck <laughs> can I get up here yes Speaking of, there is our first friend. And if I just do that... Hello? Uh... Uh... Mr. Enderman? I... I did a thing. I... Oh. I hear you now. <gasps> yes. I also nearly fell into that lava. But that's three! <laughs> Maybe we should collect ourselves a few blocks. Just to work with. Hello, my friend. They seem to be disappearing, but I'm sure he'll catch me. Hello, Mr. Enderman. It's possibly the fire aspect causing them problems. I think that one just died too somewhere that I don't know. Hmm, this is fine. The fire aspect wouldn't have been my first choice, but the fact that I managed to get... I think knockback, fire aspect, the unbreaking, and the sharpness all on one, as well as looting two, was uh, it's kind of hard to turn down. Oh, I see another Enderman. Hello. Hide. Maybe? You want to teleport up here? Do I have to come down there? Hiya. Hiya. Come here. There we go. <laughs> Five. Not bad. My armor is tanky, and we don't even have netherite yet. So I'm pretty happy that we managed to get it all hooked up and all sorted, all enchanted. This is a really dense little forest. It's actually good. And I'm glad we got this sword too. It's going to mean that we're more likely to get... Oh, it's going to mean we're more likely to get some uh, shells. Excuse me. That's what I thought. Come here, Mr. Enderman. Beautiful. That's eight. But yes, when we're out and about in the end, taking on shulkers... We should be able to get a pretty good amount of shells. Ten. I only want a couple more. Whoa, that is a lot of spawns. Ooh, I will take that, actually. I need it for my rockets. 
12. That will get us the end portal sorted, but I just I just want a little bit more. Where did you go? The fire tick really does cause them to uh, go a bit crazy. Okay, 15, that's pretty good. We'll just take this one out. Nice, very nice. We've got a couple spare, and with 15, I can make myself an ender chest, make up a full portal, and then have a couple spare, just in case for throwing as we go exploring. Perfect, we're nearly ready to go. So, with that, I can make this. We're gonna plop that down there for a second. And we're going to put these in there. We're going to put some spare food in there, some spare arrows. And what I'm going to do is take all of this gunpowder, combine it with some of this, which has actually been out of loaded range, I think, uh, while I'm down at my, yeah, while I'm down at my farm over there. But we're just going to grab some sugar cane. Hey, buddy. Good boy. Paper and rockets. Those rockets can go straight in here as rockets that are ready to go when we get Elytra. Next, we will grab a mending book. And I don't think I have an unbreaking book, but I think mending itself will probably be enough just to get us, just to get us going. Oh, I already had paper. Oh, well. From there, I also want to grab a bunch of chests, which I don't actually have any there, but a handful to make and craft into some shulkers. What have I got? We'll take half a stack of those. That should do. And a crafting table, probably. With that, I can get into the end portal. I can make myself a nether portal. I can craft up some shulkers. I can fly with Elytra. I can eat plenty. I've got some spare arrows, but not a spare bow. And I've got mending. We need a, oh, see, this is why you go through your list. With an anvil, we can put it all together. Yeah! So, I'd love to leave that here, but I didn't get enough obsidian, so I'm gonna take that with me. I should have probably grabbed my Eyes of Ender out before that, but we're gonna grab that. We're gonna grab, oh, we've got a boat down here. Let's go find ourselves a stronghold. Yeah! We'll be back soon, folks. We'll be back soon. Looking a little bit more fancy. Gonna have some wings, hopefully. Yeah, it'll be nice. Okay, bye. <laughs> I love my free cam. All right, we will test it just here before we go too far away to double check things, but I believe, yes, it's out that way. Beautiful, out we go. Now we were already about, I think 800-ish to 900-ish blocks on the X coordinate so it may actually not be that far because we are a decent distance from our spawn imagine if it's just here somewhere but we'll head out this way look for it see if it's in a good spot and set ourselves up ready to go into the end and fight the dragon it's gonna be exciting it's always such a nice point in a world for me i do love getting myself shulkers and elytra it's a lot of fun to be able to fly around and it also opens up a lot of possibilities building wise so i'm pretty keen we might make our way over to that little bit of land there, see whether it uh, changes direction, and then hope that we find it pretty quickly. If it's this close, it might be really easy to get to in the, uh, in the nether as well. So we could have everything in a line and nice and easy to get to, and really fast to travel in between, which would be so nice. So, cross your fingers. Doop, doop, do, And... Okay, it has slightly changed direction. Ah, thank you for dropping. We will continue on foot. Hmm. Wonder if it's in the ocean over here. Oh. Uh, no. <laughs> it's somewhere in between the coasts. Okay. Let's head to about the middle of this bit of land. It is kind of cool, though. I do like that it's underneath here. I wonder how deep it is. Oh, back this way. Did that go under the ground or did it pop up there? There it is. That way, back this way, somewhere like here. Okay, that does it. It's below. And as the night falls, I'm going to rush down into, oh, a cave. <laughs> Let's hide. I'm hoping that, uh, that it's easy to find my way from here. Oh, 
No, not quite. Because I don't want to have to make my way back up. But I'm crossing my fingers that I am in the right line to hit it. We're reaching deep slate level. Hmm. Okay. Is that too low? <laughs> it might be back up that way. Let's throw another one. It went up that way. Let's see if I can actually find that in the uh, in the rock here. Oh, a cave. A very small cave. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> and there it is. There's my uh, my little eye of Ender. So, we found ourselves the stronghold. A couple of bats. A couple of creeper friends. Let's see if we can find ourselves the portal. May as well take a few goodies while we're at it. Oh, I don't know whether that's it or not. It's not. It's just a, uh, a little room. But we may as well investigate it through the maze. Hmm. Hey, buddy. Did you find it? This way? I don't think that's the way, buddy. Phew. Ooh, interesting. Well... At least we can look and see. Maybe we get lucky and get an unbreaking book in one of these. Oh, not quite. And it looks like this is only a single layer. All right. What about... Oh, that's where I came in. Really? <laughs> Perhaps it's up. Perhaps not. Oh, that's another library. Whoa. Some decent books. And this one has an upstairs too. Nothing that I quite want yet though. We've got to be getting closer. Oh. I knew it. <laughs> Destroy that. And here we go. An empty portal. Empty. Completely empty. It's fine. Luckily, we did prepare for this. So, what I can do here is actually remove a bunch of this stuff. And what height do we end up at? Negative 15. Not too bad. I'm going to put down this and grab two of these chests to get rid of the junk that I don't want. And the boat. No, the boat can go in here. Yeah. We might use what we got from that to just make a handful of extra fireworks. Oh no. <laughs> you know, a portal's not much good if you can't light it. I'm gonna have to go find <laughs> some gravel. Huh. Uh, hmm. <laughs> but I actually did have enough leftover obsidian to make another ender chest. So we will keep that on us and leave this one here. I guess we're uh, we're going for a little bit of a search. I'll be back, folks. <laughs> Silly me. Hee <laughs> hee. And... Yeah. Wasn't too difficult in the end. I need those arrows and... I got some iron from one of those chests. Ha ha. Let's see where we end up in the nether. Okay. So fairly low down by the looks of things, but yeah, like that's it there. And just up there is my other portal. So we sort of have our original portal to the original camp base over on that angle, it zigs and comes back in a straight line to there. And then we could probably continue that straight line and then zag back a little bit to this. Perfect. I love it. Uh, that on the other hand, <laughs> I don't love. Negative 15. I think we were just a little bit higher than that. Let me break it. Oh well, free obsidian. So it looks like I am going to have to do some adjusting of the position of the portal. That's fine. Buddy, do you remember whether it was up or down? I think it was down from there. At negative 25? Where am I? <laughs> huh. Um, hmm. I was in a cave. There were some caves. Is that a... <laughs> that's an amethyst. Uh, okay, nice. I mean, I may as well grab some of that. But, uh, hmm, I think I'm lost. Damn nether portals. Uh. Huh. I think maybe, <laughs> maybe it didn't quite put us out where it was meant to. Yeah, uh, this seems wrong. 
I think I landed up over there. How far away did that portal go? That's okay. That's it. Try it. No. The worst part is I blocked off the uh, the little entrance into whatever cave that was down in the ground here that I was going to go through. So I don't know exactly where I went down. I might have to throw another one of those pearls. It was somewhere-ish around here. Oh, goodness. Oh, torchlight. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's dig back down. Now, we know that it wasn't the full way down here. So I am going to stop at about here-ish. Oh, but will I be able to find my way? <laughs> Let's see. Trust your instincts, bottle. Yes. Look at that. Look at that. See, we're back. We're back on track. <sighs> it's here and just down here. Perfect. <laughs> so let's uh, let's put away a few of these extra bits and pieces that I lost. I mean, grabbed, not lost. I'm going to grab these. And I'm not going to go in. <laughs> I'm going to make sure I link this up and we're going to save that for next year. I'm hoping to get this out before the new year strikes for me, uh, but hopefully it should be out before the rest of the world fairly easily. So we're going to leave the episode on a cliffhanger. I know, I know. It's a bit of fun though. I'm going to make sure this portal is all linked up properly. And then at the start of the next episode, we're going to go into the end, fight the dragon and take on an end raid. Get ourselves some shulkers and some, hopefully, some... Uh, Elytra and go from there. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you so much for hanging out with me this year, folks. And I hope you're excited for 2023. Thank you to my Patreons for all your support and love. You folks are amazing. And uh, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed the series, both Vanilla and Vault Hunters this year. And I hope that I can make a lot of fun stuff for you guys to watch in the next year to come. I genuinely appreciate the support. And I said this in my last Vault Hunters video, but I know some people don't watch the Vault Hunters, so please take care of yourself. Remember that you are loved, and remember that if things are difficult for you right now, it can get better, and it will get better. You can make the changes that you need, and you can find a way out, because you are very strong, and you are worthy. So, I'm going to leave myself here, I'm going to leave this episode here, and we're going to head off into the new year, and I do hope you take care of yourselves. So until the next episode, bye-bye, everyone. <laughs> um, buddy. Buddy. On my shoulder. Let's finish off the year to get... Buddy. Buddy. On my shoulder. Okay. And... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bye-bye, everyone. Oh, the zoom's not quite center. Okay, see ya, bye. Uh, what? Ah! <laughs>